Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope y'all are having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another What's New in Transformers. Yes, sir. I love talking about new Transformers. Don't have them in hand, just like to chit-chat. So sit back, relax, and let's talk about some new stuff. All right, all right, all right. And up first, as always, add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And it looks like Go Better has upgraded the New Age Delta Magnus. Uh, they already did this with their Ultra Magnus. Uh, they gave a little, you know, thing over the shoulders to cover up the arms. Makes it look a lot better. And you also get uh, the back thigh pads to uh, cover up the whole thigh instead of just the front part and the side. And it looks like you can extend the uh, cab also in alt mode. So yeah, I really like the, uh, you know, the covering up of the arms that look, you know, it's a really eyesore there, but pretty cool. So yeah, go better upgrade kit for new ace Delta, at Delta Magnus. All right. It looks good. And it looks like 115 Utopia is giving us a little teaser. They're working on a kit for uh, studio series Bumblebee Ratchet. Uh, more than likely probably be some gap fillers and stuff like that. So there you go. A little teaser. And it looks like Fun Bee Studios is making a Centurion droid. Uh, it looks like Defender of the Vector Sigma from the good old days of Transformers Generation 1. So it stands about 18 centimeters tall. This fun boy comes with 15 points of articulation and can be posed, you know, pretty dramatically. Uh, the droid uh, sports a 5 millimeter peg hole in the back and a pair of the bottom of each of his feet, together with a 3 millimeter hole for the display stand, which has been designed with a waist piece. Uh, this gives a whole range of uh, posabilities, and uh, as a final little fun feature, the head sphere and the droid can be removed as well, exposing a Titan Master compatible peg inside where any Titan Master can be added on to give him a new head. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I'll put the Patreon to their, you know, down to the in the uh, description. You can follow their Patreon. You can uh, print out their stuff, and it looks pretty cool. You can use blast effects, and that's nice. So there you go. This is Fun B Studios, and they're making a Centurion droid. And it looks like Iacon 3D Labs have made inserts for the chest for Robot Paradise Acoustic Wave, which is their sound wave. Looks pretty cool. So you have an option of a painted version, which is blue, and you also have an unpainted version if you want to paint it yourself. Uh, so pretty cool. So I'm going to put the link down in the description as well for this Iacon3DLabs.com. And yeah, looks pretty neat. I might get one of these. Well, all right, folks, that's all I have for add-on kit news. Let's move on to Legends. It looks like New Age Toys is shipping out H H27X Tromo. Uh, this is their uh, Toxitron, another repaint of Optimus Prime. But, man, I love that box art. It looks really good. Man, the figure looks good as well, man. That metallic green is going to be so, so nice. And the purple... Man, it looks really good. So, yeah, really excited for this one. Uh, this is the New Age Toys H27X Tromo, and this is their Toxitron, and he should be uh, coming out really soon. So, awesome, awesome. And we got some more information from Half the Battle Toys. We got final prototype prints of uh, Nanobots. More to come. There's Clip Jumper, which he's going to be 21 millimeters tall, and Megatron's going to be 37 millimeters tall, and it looks like Reflector's in the middle. Uh, now these are gonna they're gonna be at uh, TFCon in LA. They're gonna be selling these, and yeah, they'll go perfect with like Unicron or Titan Returns or I'm sorry, Titan Bots and stuff. So yeah, very cool. So half the battle toys uh, showing some more prototypes. And it looks like MPH Studio is kind of doing the same thing. They got like a small, small version of it looks like G1 Optimus Prime. Definitely got the toy version down, uh, Pat. And they're also doing a Devastator. Uh, it looks like it maybe just a one in combined mode, and they also have separate ones for the bot, uh, the bot in alt mode. And also looks like they're doing a G2 version as well. And they got Beachcomber too coming, so he's about 5.3 centimeters tall. So maybe like the Doctor Wu kind of thing going on. But yeah, definitely would go with your Titans or your Unicron or something like that. But yeah, the Optimus Prime definitely is a toy version. So there you go. I've never heard of this company. If you have, hit me up in the comments. Tell me who they are. Uh, but this is MPH Studio, and they're doing Optimus Prime, Devi, and they're doing Beachcomber. So awesome. So awesome. And then we got some new picks from Magic Square, and this is MSB31 Detective. This is their Hound. And I have to say, it looks freaking awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait for New Age also. Uh, but yeah, this looks really good. It looks like it's going to come with a cage for Ravage and a set of keys. Uh, also, the uh, alt mode looks good. I mean, wow. 
This looks really nice. Got a plain Jane, kind of like going for the tune version, but I, I like it. I like it a lot. And it even looks like it could fit in the trailer with uh, Optimus Prime, so that's pretty cool. So there you go, man. New pictures of MS, or Magic Square. This is MS B31 Detective, and this is Hound, and you need to get in my collection. Come on now. All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about, I really don't know a whole lot about. So it looks like CDL-01RC. And a lot of people think of this is nice from Big Fire Bird Toys. But other people are saying this is New Age. It was also listed, uh, I think uh, Chosen Prime then listed as New Age. And I think they're having a little, you know, battle or whatever. You know how New Age is going up against Magic Square. Now I think they're throwing the middle finger to Big Fire Bird Toys. I think they're kind of having a little skirmish as well. So it looks like New Age is, is knocking off nice. Uh, this is going to be MP scale. Uh, it's about $160, and it looks like it, it looks like you know it comes with the RC uh, head sculpt too as well. Like the nicely ones didn't come with that, but it looks like you know <laughs> I don't know man I don't know what's going on. So like I said, there's been rumors. Like I said, they said it's just Big Firebird toys just re-releasing nice with some RC heads. And like I said, I've also heard it's uh, New Age just you know throwing the middle finger to Big Firebird saying we're going to you know put this out and all that stuff. So. I don't know. It is over-sexualized. Uh, nice is a great, great transformer. I'm definitely going to get this. If it is new age, you know what? The paint is going to be awesome. The uh, transformation, the engineering is going to be great too as well. So I don't know. When I hear some better news later on, uh, I'll give it to y'all. But right now, it looks like it's new age toys and they're you know saying, screw you, Big Firebird. We're going to release our RC as well. So there you go. Looks pretty cool. And it looks like Dr. Wu is giving us a black spray. This is a black G1C spray. So the figure is a black and gray variant of their Spay Drift, which is a MicroMaster scale C spray mold, about five to six centimeters tall. According to the information shared by the Weibo Post, this will be a limited run that will be released by March of this year. So this month, uh, you get the uh, option of getting a black G1C spray. Yeah, pretty cool. Dr. Wu, Wu, Wu. And also from Dr. Woo Woo Woo, we're getting the Rainmaker. So we're getting Acid Rain, Purple Lightning, and Solar Wind. Yay! I know nobody saw that coming, you know, as far as repaints for Seekers. But yeah, they were getting uh, the Rainmaker. So very cool. They're going to be about five, five and a half centimeters tall. And that's awesome. So yeah, they're just recolors of Starscream. So there you go. Uh, Rainmaker from Woo Woo Woo. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for Legend Scale. Let's move on to MP third party news. And Deformation Space is giving us Blaster. All right, freaking A, man. It's about time somebody made another Blaster. KFC is good, but uh, I need another one. So there you go. Uh, I'm really excited. They got, I do have the Seekers, and they're good. I hope the transformation for this guy, I don't think it's going to be as hard as the Seekers, but uh, I hope it's not as hard as, you know, as far as the transformation for Blaster. Uh, he does look kind of plain Jane, you know, so far. Ramhorn looks okay he's fine but uh yeah i'm really excited for another mp scale blaster i was hoping fans toys would put out one but looks like deformation space is gonna beat him so there you go blaster he's coming all right and then we have bowu school j15 carrier class fighter i don't know who this is but it looks pretty cool i love the weapon i love that translucent blue staff thing going on uh yeah it looks pretty good so far i mean i guess he's mp scale uh, he turns into a fighter plane, and I like it. So this is Bow uh, Bo Yu School. This is J-15 Carrier Class Fighter. So yeah, be on the lookout. Looks pretty neato. And then I found this, and this looks pretty freaking awesome. This is Three Kingdom Transformers. Once again, never heard of them, but it looks like a dragon. He turns into a nice fighting warrior. And it looks like he got some different head sculpts. So it looks pretty good. I, it does not look like it transforms into the dragon, but yeah, you know, it probably does. So yeah, it looks neat and kind of weapon with it. Like I say, he does have two different head sculpts. Or actually three, I'm sorry. He's got three different head sculpts. So that's freaking awesome. So I don't know who's making this. Uh, three Kingdom. Uh, but yeah, he turns into a dragon. And that looks pretty cool. I, I, man, I definitely probably would get this. This is out of the you know, norm for stuff. But I like it. Looks pretty cool. So there you go. Dragon from Three, three Kingdom. Golly. And man, it's been a minute since I've seen this. Transform and roll out. So they're still going to put out their TR-02 version of Optimus Prime. This is from the Cybertron uh, mold. And man, I think we saw this like, I want to say three or four years ago at TFCon. So I guess it's still, it says it's going to come out on June 22nd of this year. So yeah, if you had your pre-order still going, hey man, you're going to get it. So there you go. Transformer rollout is still putting out their Cybertron 
Optimus Prime. Don't see any color, you know, pics or anything like that. So I don't know. I don't know for sure if it's going to come out or not. But we got some new pics. There you go, Optimus Prime. And it looks like we got a teaser from X Train Spots again, Apollyon 2.0. So uh, does this need to be made? Uh, I guess if you like it. I, I never had any of the uh, other uh, Megatrons. I went with the Masterpiece Takara one. So I never got a Polyon or the other one. So yeah, they look like they're doing a 2.0 version or update of their Apollyon. Yeah, I, I, yeah, whatever. I mean, if you like that kind of thing, you win. But yeah, I'm going to pass on it probably. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for MP third party news. Let's move on to official. And it looks like 3.0 has been listening to the fans. So there's an update with their last night Optimus Prime. So were there, there were concerns about the deco and details of Optimus Shield as seen in the first official images, but 3.0 has been fast to listen to the fans' feedback and they added more blue paint apps and flame decals to the shield to make it more movie accurate as possible. Uh, see the new updated images after the and all that stuff. So yeah, I guess... I don't know. I didn't know there was an issue with the shield, but I guess there was. A lot of people were griping about it. More likely just two people and, you know, how it goes. So there you go. 3-0 has updated their last night Optimus Prime. I'm still going to get it. He looks freaking awesome. So much goodness there. My God. So it looks like with the new released Micro Machines, it looks like, they, you know, they were a mystery pack, so you had to, you know, you don't know which one you're going to get. It looks like we got some identification codes for these and everything. So the in-hand image of that. So they were found in U.S. retail a few days ago, and now we have some codes that can tell you which ones you're going to get. Uh, I'll go over a couple of them. Like 1A01 is Adventure Racing Truck. 1A02 is Clip Jumper. Uh, 1B01 is Optimus Prime, and so forth. And 2B01, Nemesis Prime. You got Sideswipe, Starscream, which I want, 3A02. Uh, so, yeah, there is a little list of, uh, you know, some codes so you can, you know, you don't have to keep buying, you know, and keep the same, you know, getting the same one if you don't like doing that. Uh, but pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm excited to try to find some micro machines. I'm going to go look for this weekend and uh, try to get some. So, there you go. Codes for some micro machines. So we got some rumors. Who doesn't love some rumors? So it looks like there was a trademark found called Ecustron, Ecustron, Ecustron. Uh, it looks like it's going to be maybe a My Little Pony collaboration figure in the future. According to the site on the trademark was originally filed on June 17th of 2020. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be a second extension late uh, in November 10th of 2021. And it looks like the following says play sets for use for toy action figures and toy vehicles. Toy action figure with accessories, therefore, toy vehicles and accessories. So, yeah, there, if you're a big My Little Pony and Transformer fan, you might get a collaboration. So, there you go. It's just a rumor. I don't know if it's true or not, but we'll see later on down the line. All right. Then we got some Super 7 Reaction Wave 5 in stock images. So, we got Grimlock and Dino Mode, RC, Reflector, and Prowl. So these are new images. They're about they're G1 inspired, three and three quarters tall, and uh, they have five points of articulation. They don't transform. So if you like that kind of thing, there you go. Super Seven Reaction Wave Five in stock images. And the last thing we're going to talk about: new stock images of Takara Tomy Studio Series Bubble Bee Movie and Transformers the Movie 1986. Mm -hmm. So we got the uh, Exo Suit for uh, Spike. We got RC from the Bubble Bee Movie. We got Iron High from the Bubble Bee Movie. Junk Heap from the uh, 1986 movie, and Dinobot Sludge from the 86 movie. Man, I cannot wait for all this, even for Spike. That looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm kind of excited for that exosuit. Uh, I always wanted one as a kid. I thought, you know, I thought when I got older I'd, ha I'd get one, but it didn't happen. Oh well. But yeah, it looks good. RC, Ironhide, Junk Heap, Sludge all look wonderful. So there you go. New stock images of some freaking awesome Transformers. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for news this week, and yeah, pretty good news. I'm excited for a lot of this stuff, man. Uh, yeah, that new age Toxitron looks really good. That RC, the, I guess the, you know, the knockoff of uh, Nice looks really good, and that Blaster from uh, Deformation Space, I'm excited for that too. So yeah, really great, awesome stuff. Uh, hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go in there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments and tell me what you're excited about. And I guess I'll see you the next uh, Transformers or what's new in Transformer news. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Transformers, man. Come on now. And good night, folks.